has this happened to you you're using Graxpert and then you get an error when attempting to run the denoise feature in the new version of Graxpert. Now, coincidentally, this happened to me just after I released my video whereby I show you how to install PixInsight, install the, the, the various modules and scripts that go along with it, and how to fix the possible errors. Now, in that video, I did version 2.2 and thereafter version 3.0 updated on my system and when using version 3.0 is then i realized that error um, came up so if you are having that issue let's go through it together right now let's jump onto the computer and see exactly what's causing that problem and how we can apply a fix for it and in this instance it's just a temporary fix i want to highlight that it's just a temporary fix until the hardworking team at Graxpert finds a permanent solution that we can all enjoy moving forward. Let's get to the computer. All right, so we are now on the computer. And what I did initially when I encountered that issue is that I went onto learning astrophotography, posted my issue, and one of the very helpful gentlemen in that group by the name of uh, Matt Schumacher, and I hope I pronounced your name correctly, he provided me immediately with a, a fix or temporary fix that I'm that I'm now going to share with you. Um, and also I searched some other um, forums and they also match the same result or the same idea or the same fix that uh, Matt Schumacher also provided to me. So let's get to it, shall we? Initially, we, we're going to start with Graxpert that we're going to use outside of PixInsight. So what I did is that here we went to advance on the right hand side we click on advance of course we always ensure that the latest version is installed version 1.01 same applies for the denoising 3.01 and of course as the versions go by they're going to be more maybe 3.02 um, but as you remember in my video i showed you version 2.2 and that was the latest version at that point in time until afterwards when I ran Graxpert again, there's another update. And there were no issues with 2.0. It's only when I went up to version 3.0 and version 3.01, it's there I encountered that particular issue. So for those of you who don't want to apply this fix, you can revert down to 2.0. But if you want to go ahead, use the latest version and get that fix. What we need to do where it says AI hardware acceleration, we disable it. And that's basically it. Now, here's the catch. It's going to run much slower than before. And that's because it's no longer accelerating the hardware. If, I'm, if I understand correctly, it's not going to use as, as much GPU power to process the denoising feature. So, it's going to take a little longer, but you're going to get that result that you want in the end. And like I mentioned before, the hardworking team, they are going to find a fix for us. All right, so let's switch over to PixInsight, shall we? Now, quickly, before we go into PixInsight, let me just quickly show you the website that I went on to or the forum that I went on to that showed me the same issue that I'm having and the fix that they use that correlates to what Matt Schumacher on learning astrophotography spoke about. All right, so the website is Stargazer's Lounge. Um, of course, many of you, I'm sure, um, are quite familiar with this um, forum or this website. And of course, we have the team at Graxpert that released their video speaking about um, Graxpert and the latest version that also now includes Graxpert Denoise. And of course, we have our good old buddy, uh, Quiv the Lazy Geek, who also released his video speaking about Graxpert Denoise as well as he tested it against Noise Exterminator. So I recommend you take a look at Quiv's video and do your comparisons uh, with Graxpert and Noise Exterminator. And from there, you can make your decision as to which one you would like to use moving forward. We also have Deep Space Astro that he did his video and our good friend who also provides some really, really um, helpful videos, uh, Sasha of uh, View Into Space, 
where he also did a video on Braxbook 3.0 denoise. All right, and of course, from there, you have all of those that began downloading it, began um, having issues, various errors. And see, these are very much similar to the error that I was having. I also checked uh, CPU. I also checked if there was uh, older versions of Graxpert that was still, you know, left on the machine. Uh, none of that happened. Now, if you do have that, you may need to uninstall all versions of Graxpert or the old version of Graxpert and then run the latest version but this one in particular was the one that kept popping up both in the external version of Graxpert as well as inside of PixInsight so here's where they spoke about it and this gentleman here where he's Mars G76 whatever his name is um he mentioned that of course the news version 3.02 of standalone Graxput is released, which has AI 2.0 and most importantly, the ability to turn off hardware acceleration for denoising, which of course is what we did in the external version, just as I showed you. And it which fixed the runtime error in the latest version of Windows 10. It's a good start, slow, but better than nothing. Thank you to the Graxput team. So there you have it, folks. If you are having that same issue, give it a try. Try switching off hardware acceleration and see if that works for you. So now let's switch over to PixInsight and see the results that we get. All right, and we are now over at PixInsight where I already loaded an image, already launched Graxpert. Um, the image has already been cropped as per usual. Um, the background extraction was already done as per usual and now we're about to run denoise and as mentioned before and that's a good thing about it in this version of the late in this version of Graxput you have the ability inside of Pix inside or, or Graxput inside of Pix inside to disable GPU acceleration so that's all you do you click on this and you drag it over now if you don't see this version of Graxpert, so many of you may go to, um, it may be script, toolbox, and you may see these, Graxpert and Graxpert Denoise. But there's another version that's available now, and I'm going to put it in the description down below where you can download it from a repository. And from there, you can go to process, all process, and Graxpert. And this is what I call the Graxpert all in one and, and you would have mentioned you would have remembered i mentioned it that i'm looking for it and i eventually found it so this is the one that you want to use that will allow you to disable gpu acceleration and from there you can run graxpert you just click and drag it over and graxpert is going to run like i mentioned it's going to take really really long but it's finally going to work and you'll be you're going to have you're going to be able to get your image denoised so like I mentioned, give it a try. Let me know in the comments down below uh, what you think. Um, as always, don't forget to like the videos, subscribe to the channel so that everyone can be made aware of these videos and it can help many others out there who are struggling or who may have an issue with a particular program or PixInsight or module or any other program. Let's help each other out, shall we? So, as always, this is showing Cash here at Astro Island saying it's not the size of a telescope that counts, it's how you use it. Bye for now, take care, and see you again soon.